So when you see a person getting those unbelievable results doing the very same thing or working in the very same industries, right? They're both in the music industry, both making the same type of music, both have the same look and everything else, but this person skyrocketing and the other is not, is because of how that person perceives or views themselves, which is the belief system they have about themselves. So if a person believes that they're not worthy or deserving of affection or they're not worthy or deserving of attention, of admiration, they inherently are going to find ways to polarize or to um, deflect those things from coming into their life experience. Example, if I am that salesman who believes that I am not worthy of making more than you know 50K a year, then there's no way, even with the greatest book of business, that I can do 50K a month with that belief system. If I see myself as the type of person, you know, who's only able to attract maybe the attention of a few dozen or a few hundred people, then I'm not going to be a Taylor Swift. However, once I start developing a self-image or a self-concept that says, I am deserving of whatever it is that I truly desire. And you can believe that at your core. You have actually developed and cultivated that belief system. I promise you things are going to start to change. And I'm not saying this because I'm in a place of perfection in every area of my life. I have just seen it work in this specific area or two specific areas, right? Which is with my my purpose, which is what I'm doing right now, as well as with my physique. Those two places, I have seen these drastic results where I started shifting how I saw myself physically, And the things that I believed I was deserving of, right? Even a belief like I deserve to be in the best shape of my life and to look good and to look amazing. Like that's a powerful belief to hold. But yet many of us hold the opposite for many odd reasons, right? You have all kinds of subconscious programming that is taking place that is holding you back from actually executing. Because most of us think it is the behaviors that is doing the thing, but it is actually our belief system that triggers the behaviors Like it automates those behaviors. So if we have a belief system that, you know, uh, we simply don't have what it takes to create and cultivate that body, then guess what we're going to do? We're going to continue to find ways to sabotage our efforts, our willpowered efforts. When we try and try and try again, we'll find ourselves in the very same place. That's why you have these shows like The 600 Pound Life, etc. And you have these individuals who you know, are told to go lose 100 pounds or 200 pounds before getting the surgery that can help them lose even more weight. And sometimes they come back to Dr. Now is his name. They come back to him and they say, damn, like I, I ate all the right foods. I was doing all the right things. I don't know how I, you know, ended up gaining 50 pounds. And he tells them it's because you keep eating and they can't even recognize that because their belief system is so tied in to this body image that they've created, right? That's how they perceive and view themselves that they cannot disassociate from this image, period. And so we really have to start making this internal intrinsic shift towards the person that we truly desire to become. Who do we want to be and what does that person look like, right? And that's something that I'm continuously having to throw myself into in different areas of my life. How does that actually look? How do I look in relationship to the things that I desire? What is the image that I'm going to create for myself that is going to become the blueprint for my existence, right? Write the image and make it plain. Write the image and make a plan. Write the image or write the vision and make a plan. Actually, it's technically the same thing. Write your self-concept, your self-image and make a plan. Write the vision and make a plan. Write the vision, make it plain. Which means write down exactly specifically how you want to see yourself and how you would even feel at that state, right? Not just what you would look like, but what life would be like for you. And truly start to grasp that image because our imaginations are truly the, the uh, preview of coming attractions, as Einstein said. When we're able to tap into different places within our imagination and remain in those states, we can bring those things to us. I know it sounds woo-woo. I know it sounds ridiculous, but this is literal physics. This is quantum physics. At least that space is the first that is breaking through and finding these discoveries. And then it is spilling over into other quote-unquote mainstream sciences. We are literally collapsing reality. We are creating our experience based upon our belief systems, right? As a man thinketh, so is he. Well, as a woman thinketh, so is she, right? I know they don't want to, you know, talk about uh, what the women were doing in the biblical times, but that's going to be something that we get to in the age of Aquarius. We really going to start unpacking that, but that's something for another time. So we really have to start getting to this place where we are again, 
self-evaluating ourselves. Like, why am I getting the results I'm getting? It's not because of some external factor. It's not because the boss is unfair or the job market isn't working out for you because even in that job market, there are others who are not struggling. Even in that space or that realm, there are other individuals who are not going through it in that very same way. Instead, there are people who are thriving in seeming chaos because they don't have the chaos within themselves. They have a consciousness that says, I'm going to thrive regardless of how the uh, economy is, regardless of what my country may be looking like or the governmental systems in place. They are going to find ways to succeed. And life cannot help but be compelled to bring you exactly what you believe. This is universal law. This is universal principle. I don't make it up. I just disseminate the information. I just read it and I teach it. I'm not the one who is creating it, right? And if I was to create any different, frankly, I'll create the exact same way because it is fair. It is literally the most just system. What you focus on, you get. What you create and you fixate upon, you get. What you believe, you get, right? I believe it would be unfair if it was, you know, what you don't believe, you get. Or what you don't focus on, you get. I know some of us think to ourselves, well, I'm getting all the things that I don't want. Yeah, because you're focused on all the things you do not desire. You're focused upon not making those sales. You're focused upon not, you know, reaching those individuals and not creating that seismic uh, audience for yourself. That's the space in which you are dwelling and you need to start to separate yourself from that old identity, from that old self image and step into one that is more than just revamp, step into a self-image that is truly empowering for you, right? Create a new script for yourself. Create a new life story, literally. I mean, I'm at a place now where I'm recreating my life story. I am rewriting the details of my life. And in using those processes, it would literally start to rewire and recondition the, um, the grooves of my mind. I will literally be creating a new existence for myself, period. And so that's the state in which we want to find ourselves. That's the place in which we want to, I guess, venture forward into. So appreciate you guys for tapping in tonight. Now, do want to give a guilt-free plug. Boom, boom. My first published book, Doing Me Guilt-Free. Make sure to get yourself a copy immediately by clicking the link in the description below. Appreciate you guys. Till the next time. Namaste. Namaskar.